Hello everyone, Lord of Flames here, and today, it's been a while since I last made a creepy review video, and now, we're back with Walton Files, since, uh, two months ago, Walton Files 3 just released, and I was very, very late to make another video about this, but here we are, no worries, no worries. But anyways, let's get on with the video. The video is mostly very long than the previous ones, which is 58 minutes long. They got a little bit few more voice actors in the video, which is very interesting. And the story, this whole video is so confusing, which I try to get things in order in some way, because they are introduced uh, other characters who are from the mini games and our characters from the audios of those type of looking tapes or what's going on. But I want to get to the actual story on how this all happened with Walton's family. Um, and how this all happened with their whole life change. Because Sophie is the last part of the Walton family. And remember last time when we, when they, when uh, she was in, first introduced in the first Walton Files video. It shows something about with pills too. And there's a secret video said about Safety and pills, Sophie. Safety and pills, Sophie. Like that. Cause I thought last time it was her father who tried to do something about her, try to keep something a secret or something. Or keep her calm. But no, it wasn't him. Let's go back to the very beginning. It all started with Jack Walton's friend who asked him to take his Two other children, who were mostly the siblings of Sophie, take them to a party and take them back home. Until something would happen when uh, his friend was actually uh, very, very drunk and shouldn't even drink. Well, those two kids didn't survive from a car crash, but he did. And he had no choice to hide their bodies. And even that gray rabbit which we've been waiting for a long time what is that gray rabbit is if it's a secret character or whatnot or never been shown in the show well that gray rabbit was actually possessed by the two dead children both of them in one simple body which is interesting and he got some more calls from Jack Walton about where is his children why he hasn't contacted him for a whole hour. So things didn't go so well in that time. And things go with more investigating for the police. He had no choice but to uh, kill the rest of the Watson family. He tried to make things normal to keep things secret. Because if he kills those, all the rest of the Watson family, he, everybody would think, oh, they just move out. Something is secret, that's all. He killed Jack first. He turned him into an uh, animatronic. And he pretends to be a cop. To let Jack's wife know where he is. Until it was a trap. And kills her. Which I think he kills her or it was Jack. Because he loses control as the animatronic. Until we got to Sophie. And Sophie might have known something was going on. And so that's why he tried to be as like a doctor or some, some to our neighbor. Who tried to take, give her these pills. To make her forget all of it what happened year, all that. Which makes this guy a true villain in this story. It wasn't Jack. No, no, it wasn't. Like, at first of all, it was, but no. It wasn't Jack. It was his partner who became the villain of the story. Because it was a mistake. Because he drank too much and got those two children killed and hide their bodies. And killed the rest of Walter family. So they, the fact that the they won't know. So he wouldn't get arrested. So that's the story what happened in that time. The actual lore. But Ape and Games are trying to get to that point too. Because Sophie and her friend Jenny show her this game that she got. And the Ape and Games shows a bit more other characters who die becoming the Resident Evil animatronics. Because some of them were actually like similar to what happened to that first night guard or caretaker from the first video. Like some of them were actually security guards or helpers or mostly looking around the night until they were killed and becoming the animatronics. And we get to introduce a new character, another animatronic character who looks a bit like Funtime Freddy or Helpy. I mean, it's gray with blue color and he tells her the truth of what's going on. 
And like he said, like what I said last time, that was the truth from what happened all that time, all the, all years ago. It's been a while since she last heard from her family, which is sad. And so I think that's it for me to talk about this because it still gave me so many ideas for what should this work for the video. Like I tried to theorize everything together, but it's still difficult to theorize this whole 50 minutes long video, which I'm not get used to those type of stuff at all because it's really hard to get things right. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this folks and Martin Walls, you did amazing for creating this amazing series and you're going to make more of it and I'm so excited to see this next season is going to be. And I hope that bastard, that villain, I forgot his name, but I hope, I hope he dies because he better suffer for what he did because you know how a character as a villain is. I don't want him to get arrested. I want him to get killed by Jack Walton and the rest of his family and other animatronics for revenge stuff. Because he caused too much trouble to create these people turning to Trump and animatronics. But thank you for creating this series. And I can't wait for the next season. I, <laughs> I hope it's not 15 minutes long or an hour because I'm not into that. But still, you did amazing. Hope you enjoyed this, folks, and I probably will get to other type of creepy reviews, which I probably will do one, which is those type of old Gmod creepy videos. This is the Lord of Flames here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.